Hey guys, Zayon Motive Reviews. Let's take a look at the technical service bulletin for the 10R60 and the 10R80 um, transmission. Harsh engagement, harsh shift, uh, delayed shift with or without DTCs. Now this is for the uh, Ford 2020 Explorer. The same in the 2020 Police Interceptor Utility and the Lincoln 2020 Aviator. Now this is the same transmission that's going to be used on the Ford Bronco when it comes out. Now some 2020 Explorer Aviator Police Interceptor Utility Vehicles equipped with the 10R60 and the 10R80 automatic transmission may exhibit a harsh engagement, harsh shift delay, shift with or without illuminated malfunction indicator, lamp, the MIL of course, our diagnostic trouble codes, DTC, and these are the P0729, P0731, 732, 733, 734, 35, 36, and the 076F. And it goes on and on and on. I'm not going to get into all that. The P2705 stored in the power train control module, PCM. This may be due to sticking valves in the main control valve body. Most vehicles will improve and no longer exhibit the condition after the first 5,000 miles of driving. Now, to correct the condition, follow the service procedure steps to perform the PCM transmission accelerated main control break in routine. For the appropriate clutch, I replace the main control valve body. Now, the action is to follow the service procedure steps to correct the condition on vehicles that meet all the following criteria 2020 Explorer Aviator Police Interceptor Utility. For the 10R60, 10R80 automatic transmission, at least one of the following symptoms. Harsh engagement, harsh shift, delayed shift. With or without illuminated, again, I just went over that, illuminated in uh, mail. So which means that, that the check engine light doesn't need to be on, with or without. Now, part quantity refers to the number of that service part number required, which may be different than the number of individual pieces. Now service part numbers contain one piece unless otherwise stated as needed. In the case the part is required, but the number may vary. R is not a whole number. Parts may be built out as non-whole numbers, including less than one if needed. Indicated the part is not necessary. Now here are the parts. Main control valve and the main control valve body. Motorcraft. And this is definitely for the uh, the automatic transmission fluid as needed, parts to inspect and replace if necessary. Now these perhaps are the parts. You're talking about the fluid pan gasket, fluid filter, fluid filter. Again, for both of them, the R60 and the R80 auxiliary pump, auxiliary pump tube, or ring transmission fluid pump, transmission fluid filter seal. Now this is warranty status, eligible under the provision of the new vehicle limited uh, warranty. Emission warranty, parts warranty, and it goes on and on. It says approval are not altered by TSB. Uh, warranty coverage limits are determined by the identified causal part and verified using the Oasis part coverage too. Labor terms, of course, you're talking about 2.8 hours for the Explorer with a 10R60. And then the Explorer, the 10R60 skin, again, Aviator being 4.3 hours. This is just a labor, just a real quick look at what's going on with the transmission. Of course, you can see that the warranty is covering everything before decided to do this. I guess they decided to do this um Actually, this this was out even before the uh, before the recall. As you can see, the date on here is December the first. And again, the five thousand mile break in. They say it might go away. And these are the things: uh, the service procedure. Does the vehicle have again? Of course, I went over that a minute ago. Any transmission related DTCs. Determine the appropriate clutch to be cycled related to DC, TT, 
<laughs> DTC present. Refer the WSM. Proceed to step four. Prepare the vehicle for PCM transmission. Accelerated main control brake in routine by positioning the vehicle on a frame engaging lift with the wheels off the ground to prevent vehicle movement. Using the latest software level of the appropriate forward diagnosis scan, perform the adaptive learning drive cycles. Uh, this vehicle still exhibit the condition after performing a PCM, a transmission accelerated main control break in, routine and adaptive learning uh, drive cycle. Replace the main control valve body. And it goes on. And this is uh, advise the customer this vehicle is equipped with an adaptive transmission shift strategy which allows the vehicle computer to learn a transmission unique parameters and improve shift quality. When the adaptive strategy is reset, the computer will begin a relearning process. This relearning process may result in firmer than normal upshifts and downshifts for several days. But this is just proof how, you know, Ford has raised the occasion to, to service these particular problems. And these are just some of the uh, forecasts of some of the future issues with the uh, Ford Bronco. You guys, this is just the technical service bulletin. Um, this is a automotive reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this was educating. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful and fantastic day. Hey, you guys, this is a automotive reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for coming to the channel. And I appreciate, appreciate your time. Have an awesome and fantastic day. And thanks for coming by.